Hello friends. So after a long time. So today we are going to learn about a very very interesting topic. So what should be that? Oh, that is written here, and that topic is the cell. Okay. So I think that you all are familiar with the living organisms. Sure. because we are also living organism so living organisms can uh, perform different functions such like our human body we perform many functions but you know that uh, uh why we are performing these functions with the help of which thing we are performing these functions so you know that to perform all these function we need an unit and that is the cell you know that cell is not a part it is the unit of our human body not of our human body only there are two cells animal cell and plant cells but first we will learn about that what is cell generally if we talk about a definition so the structural and functional unit of our body is known as the cell what the functional 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 and the structural Discovery of cell was done 
uh, with the help of curved slices. And you know that uh, Robert Hooke discovered this cell. Then that was a dead cell, and it was with the help of curved slices by the help of magnifying instrument, microscope. Sorry, it's microscope. Robert Hooke developed the cell with the normal microscope, and that was a dead cell. And you know the first time when cell was discovered. So it was like this. Like this it was like honeycomb structure. Okay. So this is the discovery of cell. Let's repeat it again. It was done by Robert Hooke. In 1665, and when it was discovered, it was a dead cell, and it was done on the curved slices with the help of microscope. And when it was discovered, its structure was when it was found, its structure was like a honeycomb structure. So this was the discovery of cell. You know. that after learning what is cell discovery of cell now we learn about the shape and size and shape and size and how many cells are found in any living organism if we talk about this size of the cell so generally a uh, cell has not any de definite size uh that uh, means it has not a definite size that it will only be of this size and if we talk about how many cells are found in any living organism okay so my mind had developed a question you know what is it that how many cells are found in a human body but you know that it is not be counted but it is said that uh, maybe billions and trillions of cells are found in an living organism but not only billions and trillions you know that some organisms are consist of one cell also but our human body it may be have billions and trillions cells but some organisms are consist of the one cell also and some are consist of many cells that's why there are two organisms unicellular multicellular what are unicellular and what is multicellular unicellular if we see its meaning uni uni means single and cellular means cell single cell so the organisms are in single cell that organisms are known as unicellular because they are consist of single cell mm, example let's see an example of unicellular So the example of unicellular means the organism having one cell, single cell. That an example is amoeba. Is this a amoeba? Or this is amoeba? Or this one is amoeba? I think that these all are amoeba because ane amoeba has. Amoeba doesn't have its definite shape. It can be in any shape. Why? Why it can be in any shape? Because it is unicellular organism. It has single cell. It is means it has single cell. Cell. If we have many cell, so it means if we have many cell, the cell are assembled. But here it have only one cell. That's why it can change its shape any time. And you know another thing. I think that you all are familiar with WBC, white blood cells. That are also unicellular. That's why they are also able to change its shape. So this is 
army water to be seen, but multicellular. It has many cells, and it and these cells are assembled also. Like a light bricks are used to assemble a building. I mean that bricks are assembled to make a building. Such like this, cells are assembled to make a structure, make our human body. Uh, so we were talking about multicellular organism. So our human body is an example of multicellular organism. So here we have learned about unicellular and multicellular. Single cell, many cells. So as I have told you, that cell is very important part of an living organism. Such like this. I can take an example to making a building. One brick. There is only one brick, but when we will assemble, if we have one brick and we are we have assembled this brick, then we will get a wall. When we will make many walls. Then we will get a perfect room, and when we will uh, make many rooms like this, then finally we get a house. So, if uh, okay, tell me that if you if you are if you are, uh, if you are making any pot, and uh, if you are assemb you are not assembling the bricks as they have to be for a room. So to form a wall. So will that building be stand? No. So we have to assemble our brick for properly to make a wall and make many walls to get a perfect room and to get perfect house. We have to assemble many rooms like this. Such like this, our human body. First, we have cell, the smallest unit of our human body. When these cells are assembled, they form tissues. Tissues. When these tissues are assembled, then we get organ. When these organ are changed, then we get human. Human body. So, such like this, cells are very important for all of us. Now. Let's move towards the shape of cell. You know that shell, uh, cell can be of many types, many shapes. Like the uh, first one is spherical, is spherical red blood cells. First one, that cell, uh, cell can be like the sphere shape, which are in RBC. Spherical red blood cells like this, like like this. Spherical red blood cells. Another kind we talk is spindle-shaped muscle cells. Spindle-shaped muscle. This is a second shape. Okay, a spherical red blood cells can be cell can be like a sphere shape, a spherical red blood cell, and a spindle shaped muscle cell also, and they can be long, like a long, uh, long of cells. So like this cell can be of many shapes. It is not a definite shape. And uh, let's have. So I think that now we all have learned what is cell, discovery of cell, shape and size of cell, and multicellular organism, unicellular organism, and many things. So I think that now you all are familiar with cell. So let's have and look again of this topic. So we have learned what is cell. The basic structural and functional unit of human body is cell. It was discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. 
They are, uh, and it has no definite shape and size and uh, they are unicellular and multicellular organism. Unicellular means single cell like amoeba and WBC means white blood cell and uh, uh, multicellular means many cells like our human body. And cells are very important to us because they are the structural and functional unit of our body. I hope so that you all have enjoyed this, this topic. So we will meet in our next